I've been fortunate to dive in Antarctica for the last 14 years. Uh, it's hands down my favorite place on the planet to, to dive and I'm fortunate to be the first person to ever actually receive their open water certification. So everything I know, everything I first learned and everything I first fell in love with underwater started in Antarctica. So we have pulled in to Port Lockroy. We go through the normal rigmarole of, of gearing everything up. You know, 150 pounds of gear is what it, uh, it takes to, to get in the water in Antarctica. We head out to the dive site, drop in the water. So I'm looking down in the viewfinder and concentrating on an enemy. And all of a sudden this light goes off in the back of my head and, and I swing the camera around. And all I have is the belly of a 13 foot female leopard seal going across the screen and bam, it disappeared. I back myself up to the cliff. This is the first time I've ever been in the water with, with a leopard seal. And in the green haze of the plankton bloom, I'm suddenly seeing the shape and it's coming closer and it's coming closer and there she is and she, I've got the camera in front of me and she is right there, comes directly up to the camera and is looking at it, I mean, doing this head roll, checking herself out in the reflection. And then she disappears and I think, okay, this is my chance. I, I might be able to at least, you know, get up over the wall. And I, so I quick, I scurry up the 10 feet and, uh, and turn around and there she is again. She's right in my face. So for the next 20 minutes, it was this scene of me sort of, I'd scurry up five to 10 feet and I'd turn around and the seal would be right there again. And I, you know, and she was, it was like she was playing. She was certainly not aggressive, but very, very curious. Right up until the moment I got out of the water and even as we headed back to the ship, she actually followed the Zodiac back to the ship. And it's right then when I became absolutely in love with leopard seals with their power, their intelligence, and grace.